I have a Samsung Galaxy A02s here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from the Galaxy phone to your Windows computer or laptop or PC using the charging cable. Very simple. So first thing, go ahead and grab your charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. So USB-A, we're going to plug that into the USB port. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the phone. I'm going to plug this in. Now I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. So let's sign in. And once I tap on OK, we should get a message here that pops up. Okay, usually you get a message here. You get a message that says um, allow, ac allow access to this phone. You got to click on allow. Okay, anyway, once you do that, just come back to your uh, desktop here and you want to click on the little folder to file explorer. So we'll tap on that. Open that up. And now if we look on the left pane here, we should slide down. You should see your, it says Galaxy A02s. Let me tap on that right there. And then phone, let's double click on that. And then all your photos and videos that you took with your camera is going to be under the uh, DCIM folder. So let's double click DCIM. And then double click on camera. Now you can see I have some um, files here I have some uh, JPEG file. These are photos, and I have one video here. You can see by the how many seconds our time is right there. So from here, very simple. You can go ahead and drag and drop. Let's see. I want to go ahead and this JPEG here. Just drag and drop it onto the desktop, and there you go. Okay. But what I typically do is I'll make a new folder here. I'll right click on the desktop. I'll go down to new. I'll go down and click on folder. And I'll go ahead and name this Galaxy. And then what I typically do is I'll highlight all of them. And then I'll drag and drop that right into my new folder I just created. So drag and drop that. You can see that it's copying right there. And there you go. Now I can go and close out that window. And now this Galaxy folder I just made, if I double click that, now all my photos and videos are now on my Windows computer. Now I can go ahead and start to um, edit those videos and photos. So. There you go. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck, guys. Bye.